I don't get it. Every time I try to pay with bananas, he keeps breaking them. Maybe I should upgrade to Apple. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Oh, what's up, guys? It's Mighty Midget here with episode 3 of Donkey Kong... Ugh, excuse me, sorry. With Donkey Kong Country Returns. Um, this time, episode 3, we'll be continuing on in World 1, probably finishing it. Uh, that's enough balloons for now. 59 lives, I think it's quite enough for the day. Um, last episode, I went back to 1-4 and got the last puzzle piece. Turns out I was entirely wrong. You just have to go all the way left. Like, as soon as you start, go left. It's a hidden passage. And then Canopy Cannons, I spent a few lives trying to get that end that I just could not time. But now we're getting into levels that I absolutely love. I love, 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 love Crazy Cart so much. Mines and tracks like that. Levels like this, they're just so good. Oh my god, I love levels with minecarts. It's just, it makes the game more fun. That's all I'm gonna say. I just, I I am so happy to have levels like this. They bring it back from Donkey Kong Country, from GBA. They bring it back again. This time in a much more fun way, and I just, I love it so much. It's so much fun. Um, over to the left we have here another secret, another different design of level, another different level design for this. Uh, you got 30 seconds, not as much stuff as there usually is. Got it. And collect the puzzle piece. Nice! I'm usually pretty good at those. After a while you start getting progressively better and it becomes very easy to do. I've just gotten very good at it lately. Um, these little la uh, lamps lights, I didn't know what to say, so it was like, it just kind of comes out like not English at all. Uh, those lights can be blown out. And now we're in the cart. This is where the adventure begins. You can step on these mole patrol guys. Uh, you do a high jump off them to collect the K. Also, you only have one chance to get each of the puzzle pieces and stuff, so you gotta be very careful where you jump. Come to think of it, I actually have to remember where most of the stuff is. Puzzle piece is under here. The O is up top. Oh, I missed! <laughs> uh, I went for a quick jump and I missed it. Alright, whatever. Do I still have the puzzle pieces? Yes, I just have to recollect the Kong letters. Cool. That's the joys of this game, too. Once you get the puzzle pieces, you don't have to deal with them anymore. You just you have them. So now I'm only missing one puzzle piece, I just have to recollect the Kong letters, which is not hard to do, but I messed up trying to get that last puzzle piece. Actually, no, I got it now, so I don't need to worry about it, but now I just need to get all the letters. I'm going to practice my high jumps on the Mole Patrol guys before I try to get the K. Cool. High jump. High jump. Oh, I gotta kill myself that one. <sighs> Normally, guys, I don't die on levels like this. I am s I'm disappointed. I'm upset. Okay, one more time. This time we do it right. Because I'm messing up too much. It should be noted, like I said, I don't usually fail these levels. These are usually, like, they come easy to me. I've gotten the gold medal on this in the time trials many times. I've been trying to break my own records on them. But I don't usually mess up this much. So, let's do it for real this time. Again, Mole Patrol, you know what, second one I'll ignore just so I can get the high jump. There we go, got the K. No need to worry about the puzzle piece anymore, because it's, uh, it's already been collected now. But I'll collect it again anyway. Just kidding, I uh, was lying. Collect the O. And now I have the puzzle piece, so I don't need to worry about that anymore. <laughs> This one is where the quick wits comes in. You gotta jump at the right time to collect the puzzle piece. Got it. Now it's all about the Kong letters. This is where things get fun. Jumping on the edges of tracks. Gets very interesting. You'll see what I mean in a sec. See what I mean? That thing was sitting on the edge waiting to get hit. And the G is in a really cool spot. I actually like where the G is placed here. You jump over this, 
jump over this, collect all those, jump on the G, and now suddenly we're not on a track anymore, which is pretty awkward, but it's okay. You collect three banana coins if you jump at the right time, and then you break the cart. I believe we've collected everything, yes we have, and we will get our EK space, kill him. 75 lives and going strong. And that is the last Kong set that we need to grab for World 1. Now, one thing I should note. Upon acquiring all of the Kong letters in a specific world, a new level gets unlocked. We're going to be going on to those later on. I think, unless we want to just do this one and get it over with, but I think... It'll become eight separate episodes just trying to beat these. But just so you know, it's 1-K, I think it's Kong. Platform Panic, it's a... It, the levels are very difficult. Those unlockable levels are very difficult to do. Especially the ones in, like, World 7. Uh, World 4, kind of. World 5 is another good one. I forget what World 6 is, so I can't speak for that one. Oh, wait. Uh, World 6, yeah, that's right. Anyway. Continuing on the game... We encounter our first boss at 1-B, Muggly's Mound. That's Muggly. Or as you could refer to him also as, given his face, uh, Fugly. Same thing, really. Um, and this is our first uh, Tiki boss. I don't know what instrument he's supposed to represent. I know that other ones represent certain ones. I think he represents, like, I don't know, the... I think it just represents a tiki, like just a regular tiki noise. And I missed the first hit. Uh, Muggly, I believe, takes seven or eight hits, but we'll count them up later on. That was one right there. And he gets a little angry, starts bouncing around. Boing. Boing. Get behind him. Get him for a second hit. And a third hit, if you'd like to. I took a hit, but it was worth it. Then he gets a little angry, you can tell by his changing color. He's slightly kicked. Collect the heart, which is also useful. I missed a very easy hit just a wow, I missed two easy hits just a Jesus! Come on! I missed two easy hits there, and I just lost DD because of it. That's alright though. Now he turns red and he gets ticked off very easily. That's okay. We're at seven hits now. Now he's going a little bit faster. And he takes 9 hits to kill. Overall, not an incredibly hard boss. Cool. We did it. That's the first guy down. Maybe he represents like a piano or an organ or something, just based off like how his top hat looks, or like little hat looks. And after killing him, you get the, the right to shake your remote and kick his teeth in. Piano has been broken. World has been cleared. Guy's been hit 22 times. Nice. And we won. And that is how to do it. That's the end of World 1, minus that Kong stage. And I think, you know what, just because we're here... Oh, first, wait. <laughs> broken, that's one down. Which allows us to go to the beach. Instead of going to the beach though, you know what? I think we ought to just do this for kicks and gigs. First, let me go to Cranky Kong's shop. Pick up some more lives, just for, you know, for the sake of having more lives. So at the end of World 1, we have 89 lives. That's a pretty good, pretty good start. Um, because we're only about 10 minutes in, I am going to attempt Platform Panic. Like I said, they are increasingly difficult from the other levels that you play. And my cat's coming over now, so I gotta make sure that she doesn't get the camera. Because she's a habit of doing that every time she comes around. Now, platform panic, the platforms start moving around. Or the platforms. Can you, no. The platforms are, um. They start falling up under you as soon as you make contact with them. Um, but this is also a good place to rack up some banana coins if you want to. 
which I'm going to try and collect the one up. If you get seven enemies in a row, you get some one ups. So I had eight enemies, so I got two one ups there. So that's pretty good. Two extra lives, that was a beautiful thing. And without making those platforms disappear, we're just gonna jump on the enemies. Collect our second puzzle piece. Now it starts getting progressively harder. Enemies are in worse spots than before. This one you want to stay low and grab the puzzle piece. Ooh, close. Wait for one to drop. Now this one you gotta be quick for. Jump, collect it, jump again, jump again. It's... And then this one you just hold the right arrow key to collect some more. If you want to get cocky and try to click every single one, you can. Not that I would advise it, but I can't say I've ever su I've successfully done it like once. It's not for the faint-hearted, though. Now things start getting interesting. Jump, high jump. We have all five puzzle pieces. Drop down. Oh, I shouldn't have high jumped there. That was my fault. But on the other hand, I did have all of the... Wait, do I collect comic pieces here? No, it's just puzzle pieces. So now it's just about completing the level. Which, if I don't do it this time, I'll come back to it at a later date. And try to beat it then. We were really close just then, though. Because all we had left to do was uh, jump off a few more enemies' heads and we were golden. Also, I think that this way is more efficient in getting through. If I have Diddy, usually this level becomes easier. And it's helpful to have full hearts, or at least two hearts when you're going into the last couple of jumps. Because then I take advantage of having that extra hit, and then just being able to skip through a few spikes. It does come in handy, to be honest. And then the upper path, it's a little easier. And so what this game becomes is just a platforming game where timing means a lot. And now I don't need to worry about puzzle piece anymore, so I can just skip that. I'm just going to skip as much of these guys as I can. Okay. It's a great place for collecting a lot of uh, banana coins, though, like I said. Don't even bother pushing a button there. Just run into that guy, and you'll be able to jump over him. Another one we don't need to worry about. Drop down. And that is how you beat that level. There we go. And we collect the first of, well, we don't know what they are just yet, but we'll learn. For right now, we've collected the first orb and gotten all the puzzle pieces in World 1. So that is a very strong start to episode, to the episodes of uh, Donkey Kong Country Returns. So far, so good. Everything is completed here, right? Fantastic. And to make things even better for us later on in the future, what I'm going to do is... Who's that pig anyway? Why is he wearing glasses? Yeah, there are pigs that occasionally come up and stuff. And there you go. Now you got 99 lives. And apparently it tells us, you have too many of these, you greedy ape. There's a banana out there that not only tastes great, but warps due to an alternate dimension. I say yes, please. Cranky Kong's not kidding, but we're not going to spoil that. <laughs> At least I think there is. I'm not sure. But anyway, that's the end of episode 3, guys. A lot of progress been made. Gone through World 1 already. Jungle is done. All that's left now is the beach and a few other worlds that you can see from right here. Some smoke above us, which is kind of weird. And then that boss staring down on us like we've done something wrong. But that's the end of episode 3, guys. Remember if you enjoyed, to like and subscribe if you did. And leave some feedback if you think I can do things to make it better or worse. Uh, I will have to try and improve on the uh, whole camera angle thing because I appear to be struggling with that a little bit. The camera is a bit... The lighting has been getting weird. But we won't look at the beach just yet. We'll look at that next episode. For right now, remember to stay short and stay awesome. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Take it easy.